I'm here today to demonstrate some of our new market APIs built on the Nexus blockchain. These APIs and more will be in our upcoming Tritium++ update. Like all our APIs, these can be used on the command line, but today I will be using our UI's modular system to show off the FooBar exchange, which trades these two tokens. Let's get started. So I'm just going here. We've got a brand new user here. I have a account set up with using our foo token. And uh, we want to get bar because we have we have a thousand foo, we have no bar. So we can just create a new account. Bar account. Enter this token here. And now we have just created a brand new account using um, bar. And we'll just let this take a second to um, verify. There we go. So we have a new account here, bar, but we don't have any bar. So how do we get bar? How do we, we can use our new APIs that we have to create a order to trade with someone for bar. So we'll just go over here to our uh, module. So I've here I've just whipped up a simple interface just to get the idea of how these type of things could happen in the real world. Um, so we have a list here of orders and we have a some filters here. Um, so there's buys and asks and then the finisher just just to show already executed orders. Now we uh, we want to get some bar, so let it let's get some bar here. So we're gonna ask for some bar, and how much are we gonna give up? So let's give up, let's give up two hundred foo. And what do you think our foo is worth? Let's let's not just make it some sort of simple number. Let's let's do let's do one one point thirty four. Oops. 1.34. So we're going to take from, so we're going to, it's going to cost us from our foo account and it's going to deposit to our bar account that we have. So um, this order right here is going to um, give us, if fulfilled, 268 bar. So we'll just, we'll just do that, execute this and we'll just type in our pin to confirm. Give it a second. And there we go. So we just spent 200 foo. And we can refresh this and we can see right here. So this is our this is our order. Now you saw that we spent 200 foo. So what that's doing is if we go here on the transactions, we're actually sending this food that we have to a custodial account. So this custodial account is not owned by me. It's owned by, well, no one. I mean, it's just part of the Nexus blockchain. So this is what's holding this amount for us. And that this amount will be exchanged for our bar when this order, when this contract has been fulfilled. So. This is this is us right here. This contract we have we're we're selling our foo, two hundred of it. And this is what we want. This is our order, right? We we want two hundred eight uh, sixty eight. Um, now obviously we can't do this on ourselves, so we're just gonna go over here and I'm gonna log out here. And then let's log into another user. Now this person, user one, already has bar, and well, actually already has a bunch of foo, but that's okay, he wants some more. So we'll go back over here to the exchange, and we see this um, order right here. So we'll just you know go back here, and we can just purchase this order, or fulfill it, and we can take from, this is gonna be 
um, our bar. So we're, we're giving up some bar here. And then we deposit the food that we're gonna be getting back here on this one right here. So we'll just execute this. Pin to confirm. And give it a second. We we'll, should get this going. There we go. All right. So you see here, we just we um, we just sold 268 bar, and we just got 500 foo. So we can see that here in our transaction, and this is applied to our account here. So now we can go back over to log into our other account. So we'll just go back to our other account here. We'll log in and we should be getting our new transaction should be um, coming in and there we go. So now we can, we go, we just got this bar here, refresh this page and then here we go, we have our bar. So we can go here, finished. Let's see, this order has been already been, uh, been done. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's how we can exchange uh, foo from bar. And of course we can um, go here and bid for um, bar as well, or bid for foo, excuse me. Uh, we can, you know, give up 20, I don't know, 0 0.87. And we're gonna get this amount of foo back. Go in here and make another one here. Yeah, so now we have, we got another another transaction here um, that we could go and exchange or, you know, whatever. You know, this is just a uh, little demonstration of, you know, some of the power of these of these tools. Um, so I hope everyone enjoyed the small preview of some of these market APIs. Um, there's a lot more that's available and people will be able to use those APIs and more. Um, to create awesome things with uh, the Nexus blockchain. Now, all of these are we going to be coming later with our Tritium++ update. Thank you.